Yo, why does everyone want to fucking fight Young B, yo? Everyone wants to fight him. Why? Is that because he's such a good rapper you gotta fight him? Come on. Hey, yo! What's up, guys? Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are good. Your boy is back, aka the doggy that cannot rap. And today we are gonna be talking about as you can tell by the title, Show Me the Money A Episode 7. And before I say anything, I'm gonna put a big ass spoiler alert on here because of the previous videos, some of you guys got spoiled by what I said in my title, so I'm just gonna put a damn spoiler in the video and in my title of the video so if you have not seen the video or the episode yet do not watch this video but once you've watched this video once you've watched the episode then you can come here and watch this uh, discussion because this is a discussion on the episode and if you haven't seen the episode how can you discuss i mean to be honest there isn't much discussion going on with these videos but the views on my videos on show me the money are doing pretty good so i want to do more of them and i just want all of you guys if you guys want to discuss some things to discuss in the comments yo i want to talk to you guys about what's going on show me the money is one of my favorite shows it is my favorite show ever and i want to talk to you guys about it because like yo I, that's like all i can talk about so if you guys want to chat up me chat me up about show me the money eight then put all the questions or whatever you want in the comments below and other guys if you want to feel free to chime in you guys can on other pe on other people's comments and stuff but today we're talking about episode seven i think it was and before i start anything again make sure to if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, press that subscribe button. And once you press that subscribe button, press that bell notification so you know when I post a new video. And I post every day. And I know most of you guys that watch my video, you are not subscribed. So make sure to make sure to subscribe. All right. All right. Let's get into this video. Okay. Come on. Very first thing that happened was on a sports day event. I don't know, so because this whole episode was revolved around disc battles, so I don't know why they really came up with this sport, sport day. It was like the teams, and then they did a bunch of like outdoor activities, outdoor things like goalkeeping, like running with those flipper things when you swim, and a scuba dive. You have those like flipper things on your feet. They were having races with those on. They had to do like the spinning the 10 times and then run and get the mic. That's what all they did. And that's what they did. And what really, really stood out for me throughout all that was I found it really funny. Is yo, fucking Punchinello is fast as fuck, man. I don't know if he is just really fast or if it's just like the flippers, you know, I don't know. But it looked like he was going super fast. And it kind of showed it because like, he pretty much won all the races for his team. And then they kind of compared it to Manny Pacquiao, which I kind of see a little a little bit. I found it really funny. They were doing the flipper, whatever, th the, on the feet. And they were doing the re relay race. Punchello team was, was about to lose. And when Punchello was up to run, he dashed forward. Didn't even care about falling on his face. He dashed forward and almost beat the other dude but this close and he didn't win but very very close and that's really the highlight of that for me um i found that really funny so i was laughing my ass off if you guys like this sports day thing let me know in the comments what you think and i don't know i haven't seen a sports day like this before um on my on in the show me the money season ever so it's kind of new and a lot of the stuff in the show me the money this year kind of new to me uh, especially like the arrangements and all that battling and stuff that's the first little bit of the episode the next part as you guys know in uh, episode six there was a teaser about everything and then they chose each other's disc battle partners or whatever or opponents 
and the first thing i'll say is i don't know why but why does everyone want to like fight young b oh. I remember when Young B and Ulti were doing the group battles. Um, Ulti was the leader of his like crew, and um, Young B was the leader for his group. And when they were battling, or when Ulti was rapping, he just like ran right into Young B's face and just was like, "Yo, I'ma fight you, but I'm not gonna fight. Just use my words to fight you." And then this one, Young B, is just like all up in his face, and then in the end, he's like fucking bitch i'm gonna fight you bro that's what just a little bit weird because i don't know why they all want to fight young b is that is it because he's really like a really good rapper and like you can't beat him so why not fight him i don't know if it's just like for fun because like they, they shook hands and shit after to be fair young b wasn't even really phased all he was doing was like yeah okay i know what you're saying one thing that really bummed me out was there's no english sub so i had no idea what the lyrics were talking about or what the disses were um i just like heard some korean words and then people were cheering so i don't really know what they were talking about so hopefully hopefully there are some english sub youtube clips so i can watch to know what they were saying the only really thing that i know that i could kind of understand was that for the Yunhui and Panchinello and Zhang Yu, I don't know why, like, there was two versus three people, but in that whole scenario, you got Yunhui and Choi Sungmin on one, I guess, group and forty crew, and then BGMV. There was three people. I'm guessing they had more people in the in BGM. Zhang Yu, Panchinello, and Choi LB, they were like one group, but Choi LB was and Sungmin and vice versa. Zhang Yu and Punchinello, I don't know how this really came about, but Zhang Yu and Punchinello went against Yunhui. I found her kind of cool because she isn't like, I didn't like really like her because she was like always getting second chances and stuff, which is actually what Punchinello did with his diss. DJ Oppa. Like, get it. So what happened was in some of the auditions, you would forget her lyrics and be like, Hanman told you say yo, I think that's what it is. And that just means like, can I get one more time, one more try or whatever. Panchinello did that, like people actually thought that he messed up his lyrics, but he actually was faking it to be like Yunhui and be like, Hanman told you say yo. When he first forgot his lyrics, the cr opponents, oh, that's bad. The opponents, they were like, oh, he forgot his lyrics. I'm deep in the And then once he like came back with the Hamon told you say yo type thing, their expression changed and I'm like what? <laughs> and I found that really good. Even though they actually didn't win the battle, um, I'm not sure really why. Maybe because I think the crowd chose like who won for all the battles but i mean i thought he forgot his lyrics too but he actually didn't and he uh, was just like playing it you know big natty is also one of those people that like i said in all my other discussion videos i'm really looking forward to and he actually killed it with his with his battle against lil touch and lil touch forgot his lyrics a little bit <laughs> And I'm not sure if the crowd noticed, but Big Naughty just like dressed up as Lil Touch when he was in High School Rapper season two and just remixed the song Snow that he did on that show. And Big Naughty just like changed some lyrics but used the same beat. And I don't know what they were saying because people were saying that they're like, yo, Big Naughty, you're so good and shit. But I don't know even know what he's saying because it's in Korean. So if you guys, like I said, want to comment and discuss in the comments you can do so and i'll chime in too if i can oh and then uh ek and zendazilla they battle against each other zendazilla i think zendazilla actually put up a really good fight against ek and ek was dressed like a like a broccoli i'm not sure really why maybe in the 
in the last episodes and the Zilla's hair was kind of crazy looked like a vegetable I don't know if that's why EK wore like a broccoli hat or something and they had some really fire beats and fire lyrics I just didn't know what it was what it meant this is like the main thing about this episode is that I just don't understand what the lyrics are and I just know that people are just getting hype over one diss that's like what I'm going off of really. What's uh, surprising was that um, 40 Crew actually won like the entire diss battle and on a whole. And I think that's really like their very first win as a group in the show so far. Um, BGMV as a crew has always won their battles. So, I mean, it was cool to see 40 Crew win, but uh, I don't know if they actually won or not because I actually think BGMV did better. But I don't know if you want to chime in. Like I said, you can do so in the comments. Chillin' homie, old man. And uh, Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy. They both forgot their lyrics against their opponents, Donut Man and Bryn. <laughs> and then Bryn and Donut Man just kind of killed them up. <laughs> without forgetting lyrics so i think that was why really 40 crew won and young b and ub was on that in that group of three well i thought you young b i don't know what the lyrics meant but i thought i like young b's verse more and i think yumbi just had more like physical like yo i'm gonna fight you sort of thing because he was all up in his face. Yeah, and then chilling homie, I was really sad to see him go. Since BGMV lost, they had to eliminate one person and they eliminated chilling homie. And I was really surprised because I don't know, I thought Mac Daddy was gonna get eliminated, but he didn't. Chilling homie got eliminated and I was really sad to see that because uh, he was one of the people that I just started in the last episode, I just started getting into and wanted to, like I wanted him to do better and do like his own stage before getting eliminated but unfortunately he was eliminated i guess because he forgot most of his lyrics so i think that's why he got eliminated but hopefully he gets to be on more features or has some songs i can check out if you have any recommendations to chill and homie songs let me know in the comments i have a couple but not that many in the last battle on a whole was taqua and Woody Go Child, I like Takwa's a lot. And Woody Go Child actually did really well too. It's just, I don't know what the lyrics are again. So I didn't really know what they were talking about. Yeah, that was a really good battle. I think there was like a tie there. Next episode should be like the performances and I'm really excited for that. So. That's it for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, uh, press, and make sure to press that bell notification so you know when I post a new video and I post every day. So make sure to follow and press that bell. And also, if you want, follow my Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Hey, this is the outro. If you want to check out more videos, click on the screen right now. If you want to check out even more videos, go to my channel and check them out. And while you add a subscribe right here. Hello, bye bye, yo yo yo, yo yo yo, what what what?